Hello, I am Raleigh Varnado, but they call me Miss V. I am the Healthy Living Director for Quad E, and I want to today engage, educate, empower, and eradicate. Acknowledgements for the education videos were made possible by financial support from Grantham University. I will be discussing a healthy plate. Today, I want to engage in conversation, educate you by discussing healthy plate, empower you with the tools on how to build a healthy plate so that you can start the journey to eradicate. Eating healthy is a serious matter, a matter that we shouldn't take lightly. As humans, we've been eating forever, and we still don't have it right. Knowledge. It is not enough to know more. You have to act differently to do more. What does that mean? Well, I want you to see food differently. I want you to look at a new perspective on how you will see the plate. Because you want to become familiar with your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. Because how else are you going to build a healthy plate if you're not familiar with those groups of food? And what's important is portion control. We're not going to be eating from a platter. We're going to be eating from a plate. But we do not want to do restrictive eating. I want you to get creative and have fun. So what does this look like? Well, that's a healthy plate from Harvard University. Notice the vegetables are the largest area of that plate and there is fruit. So you want to make half your plate fruits and vegetables. And the other half, you want to have your whole grains and your healthy protein. But don't forget about your uh, dairy products on the outside of the plate and your oils. Wow, a real life healthy plate breakfast. You know breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And the reason for that is so that that spurs your metabolism and gets you started. Look at those meals. Oh my goodness. Lunch, let's do lunch. But when we're doing lunch, we're not looking at you eating a salad for lunch if it contains lettuce, tomatoes and cheese. That's just a topping for a sandwich. We want you to have a meal that is acceptable for lunch. And when you're looking at the My Plate, you want to be sure that you check all the boxes and that you have your fruit, your vegetables, your um, carbs, your healthy protein. That makes a healthy lunch. I want to now see what my dinner will look like. Well, let me tell you about dinner. People get confused. What are we having for dinner? I don't know. What should we eat? I don't know. Let's just go pick up something. No. Why don't you just stay home? Because what about the time it takes to get in the car, go to a drive-thru, get your food, and then come home? What's that, an hour? And even if you order takeout, um, delivery, hmm, what's that, an hour? Why don't you reacquaint yourself with the kitchen? Dust off those pots and pans so that we can now see color. Food has color. And guess which foods have the most color? Fruits and vegetables. And which are the foods that no one wants to eat? Fruits and vegetables. But which are the foods that people should eat? Fruits and vegetables. Why? Because they're packed with color. Eat your color, purple, blue green, yellow, orange, red, and even white has some pigment. So why should you have color? Have you ever looked outside? I don't want to go there yet. I want to go back to my colors. And when I go back to my colors, what I want to say is that what you're looking outside is when it rains and the rain's falling on your deck and you see the water beat up on your deck, that means that the wood did not absorb those, the, the uh, moisture from the rain. Well, the colors 
they will coat your body cells and will not allow your body cells to absorb all those ugly things that want to enter your body and cause all kinds of diseases and conditions. So we're going to take it to the next one and we're going to look at why should you do this? Well, you want to do this for wellness. Wellness is multidimensional. It includes sleep, meditation, nutrition, exercise. And where does this come from? It's there because you want to decrease the incidence of preventable disease, chronic disease. You want to eat well to increase your quality of life and extend your years of life for your mind, body, and soul. So, what happens when you start? This is what's going to happen. Wow, you're going to feel good. You're going to improve your heart. You're going to boost your mind, your energy. And look, in the new millennium, we're talking about gut health. That is so important. And now they are coming out with books on how to improve your memory. Go back to those blueberries with all that color and weight loss. Oh my goodness, during this pandemic, yes, that's so important. Promoting healthy habits for the next generation. How do you start? By setting the example. For your family, don't just let them get away with it. Mom, what are we having? Oh, we're going to have chicken nuggets. Oh, that's not a good start. You want to get realistic goals going. And you want to look at what you have in your uh, pantry and work from there. You want to shop the perimeter of the grocery store so that you can choose all the healthy fruits and vegetables. And please keep a food diary. And you know now there are apps for that. There's app for your grocery list. You can even program your refrigerator to look and see what you need for your next grocery visit. So there is not really an excuse for not doing meal planning. And that also leads to meal prep. And when you meal prep, this takes a lot of time out of getting those meals put together. Check out this healthy challenge. Go ahead. Do that so that for the next 27 to 28 days, you will have something to do that's related to nutrition and that challenges you to eat more healthy. These are the references. Please check out these references. Eat to live. Don't live to eat.